What's up, bros? Uh, we are here with EJ Hassenfross, uh, one of my favorite artists, actually. You know, we're friends. We are friends. We have become friends over the years. But honestly, like, it's it's amazing you, you actually have these artists, even though you're friends, who you kind of really look up to, and you are definitely one of those people for me. Um, <laughs> um, and you've seen us. We're all doing the uh, interviews together, and this was really the last one. We had to interview so you. So many interviews. So many. <laughs> so many cool people showed up to the conference. That my favorite is the people. Yeah, people. Oh my goodness. Ah. Yeah. Oh, really? it's so, <laughs> so good. good. It's so good. But anyway, okay. So you are the sketch and tune master. You know. So, the, so, I've, the, so I've been crowned by the by the masses. Yes. I mean, it's it, but that's a really good. That's a, in my opinion, that's a really good thing. I said this like uh, almost a year ago on the podcast. It's like. I see the stuff that EJ's doing. This was before we even knew you. And I said, this is, you're going to see a whole slew of sketch and tune, 2D type stuff coming out of Cinema 4D because I felt like you were being so influential within our industry. Yeah. So Yeah, there's there's a lot of, so my whole story was why I did the sketch and tunes because I just wanted to focus on design skills and, and just focus on that in Cinema 4D and uh, make 2D stuff in there. And I started messing around with cell shader and the outlines and I was like this is amazing like I'm doing it and I'm doing it in my favorite app the app that I'm most familiar with and I just started making stuff and you know I would put it stuff on Dribbble and Twitter and people like 2D animators from After Effects would be like wait what that that was in cinema like that's crazy and uh, you know a lot of people that see all my stuff they're like well I, I need to get into cinema 4D uh, and I'm like, well, yeah, come on, do it. And so that's that's basically, uh, and a lot of people are say uh, that would tell me that they just don't know where to start. They don't know where to begin because 3D is very daunting, especially when you're coming from a 2D app. So that's kind of where I've been going with my tutorials is just really giving people a little window into the world of 3D by the most comfortable way. So like sketching tunes, almost like a really nice bridge for you know, 3D artists that want to do more 2D stuff or 2D artists that want to do more 3D because if you're doing infographics and stuff, you're just using like flat shape layers and stuff. It's like, well, you can do that same thing and uh, you kind of ease into the whole 3D process because uh, when you're just doing sketch and tune stuff, you just have to learn the, the cell shader and that's super easy. It's just a gradient knot. You move the knots and it controls how it's uh, mapped along the contour of the object and you don't have to like get into the more uh, complex 3D concepts, so like reflections and what's a for now, and like all these 3D concepts that a, a 2D animator wouldn't really get into. So that's why I always say, like, if you want to start somewhere, start with uh, like even luminance, like just turning on the luminance channel, and you got your flat shapes and stuff, and you just start making stuff there. So yeah, it's I've I've really been encouraging people to check that out and more and more people are giving it a go which is really great to see so I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get people on that C4D train so yeah. I know I noticed you did <laughs> I noticed you did a uh, a basically a you use the new Cinema 4D renderer in After Effects to create that cool little yeah. spin of the Nintendo controller and stuff yeah, like that yeah. have you found like maybe an uptick in either Cinema 4D users coming from After Effects because of that particular render engine or you know uh, uh, being able to incorporate like Cineware and stuff like that yeah. into their After Effects workflow. Yeah, so I think I think both things are very underutilized. So the thing I made in uh, the, yeah the Nintendo controller that was just using extrudes and trying to finagle the like the diffuse and all the metal options that are on each of the like the each layers After Effects layer options and stuff like that. And you can kind of get close to cell shading, uh, but it's just one of those things where I think. Probably the most people that want to get into 3D are like using Element 3D, and a lot of pe like a lot of 2D artists, I think, are just doing it the hard way because that's what they're used to. So when a new new tool comes out, uh, like I think that for the the, uh, the Cinema 4D render, I think it's just introducing all those complex uh, 3D concepts to people that, and maybe that's a little bit like they're they're kind of too confused by it, so they're like, well, I don't know about that, so I'm not going to really give that a go, but. Uh, but Cineware, I think that's really where its strong suit is, is because if you're just doing uh, 2D compositions and cell shading in, in cinema, you're not doing reflections or blurs or anything like that. So when you actually bring in a 2D composition or a 2D style composition from Cinema 4D, 
it renders super fast in Cineware. So I just did a whole, I did two uh, 30 second spots uh, for uh, American Express and made basically everything in, in a Cinema 4D. And then I had to add like other elements inside of After Effects, like little like cell, like cell style animations, because uh, that stuff you you want to do that kind of stuff, like hand, like uh, hand keyframing cell style, like splashes or something like that. So I would just use that. And the nice part about it is, is that I would just bring in the Cinema 4D files as layers. So you just lay out your whole edit, and if you need to change anything, you just go back into Cinema and change it, and then it updates. And then when you want to render, you don't actually need to even render anything out of Cinema 4D, which is great. You can just render completely inside of After Effects. So it's really, really awesome. But again, you... And with that, you're just using like the standard, like the classic 2D renderer, right? Yeah, just standard renderer. Yeah. And not even like the, the Cinema 4D renderer specifically in there. You're just actually just using the, the classic 3D, right? Just the, yeah, just the Cineware layers there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Well, uh, anything else you're excited for seeing here at NAB, even though most of it is over? Any, uh, what, what was your, did you catch any of the presentations? No, I've been just talking. There's so many people that stop by the booth, like, and it's just, it, NAB is a great opportunity to catch up with everyone. And this, is, this stuff will be uploaded online, so it's like, I'll catch that later, but I need to, like, I'm not going to be able to s catch up on this later on. So uh, I always love talking to everyone at the booth, like, the bros, the bros from BroGraph, and you know, like, uh, you know, Nick from Grayscale Gorilla and the Grayscale Gorilla team, and Beeple and Andrew Kramer, and like all those guys that you you only see at these kind of events because we're all so busy. So it's just nice to just bro out and hang out with everyone, catch up. But uh, I I'm really excited when I go home. I'm gonna start looking into external GPUs for Octane. So I think I got the Octane bug, and I'm just gonna do it. So so, so that's the future of iDesign, maybe. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Yeah. we're gonna do some Octane maybe, stuff. Maybe yeah, maybe do some sketch and tune looks inside of uh, Octane somehow. I don't know. Fantastic. All right, EJ, thanks so much. Thank you so for, much. Uh, thanks so much for uh, doing this interview as well as like kind of letting us, you know. Uh, right along with you on the oh, whole, yeah. you know, uh, videos and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right. Um, yeah. Stick around. We'll probably have some more videos. Yeah. Thanks. Bye, everybody.